In the last lecture, we created controllers in our NestJS application, but those controllers are currently not able to handle any type of request which is coming to a given URL. For example, after this root URL, if I specify users and if I press enter, you see we are getting this message not found because we have created the controller. We have created this users controller which will handle that request, but we have not defined any route or any action method which will handle a get request on this URL. So here we need to create a method which can handle a get request. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method here. I'll call it get users. Okay. And from within this method, I'm going to return you made a get request to get all users. So this is the response I'm going to send whenever a get request is made to this URL. Okay. Now the question is, okay, let me go back to the browser first and let's try to make a request again. And we are still getting that same error. Why? Because we know that we have created this method to handle get request. But how does NestJS will know that this method should handle the get request coming to this URL? It does not know that, right? For that, we use routing decorators. Routing decorators in NestJS are used to define routes that your application will respond to. And they provide a declarative way to map HTTP methods. For example, it provides a declarative way for get, post, put, patch, delete, etc. to specify controller methods. Now, if this statement does not make any sense, then let's go back and let's understand it practically. So, we want this get users method to handle get request. For that, we need to decorate this get users method with a decorator and the decorator name is get. Now, in order to use this get decorator, we also first need to import it from next.js slash common. So from this library, we need to import this get decorator. Okay. And then we can use it like this. So now next.js knows that whenever a get request will be made to this URL, it has to execute this method. And now if we save the changes, if we go back to browser, and if I reload the page, you will see that now we are receiving that response. You made a get request to get all the users. In the same way, let me go ahead and let me create one more method and let's call it as create user. And from here, let's return a text response for now saying that a new user has been created. Okay. Now here we have created this create user method, but NestJS does not know for which type of request it has to call this create users method. Well, in our case, we want to call this create users method whenever a post request is made. Whenever a post request is made to this URL, we want to call this create users method. And to specify that we need to decorate this method with at post decorator. And again, in order to use this decorator, we need to import it from nest.js slash common. Okay, let me save the changes. And this time, let's go to Postman. And from there, first of all, I'm going to make a get request to root URL slash users. When I click on the send button, we received this response. We received this response. You made a get request to get all the users. Now let me make a post request on the same URL. And when I click on the send button, you will see that we are receiving this response. A new user has been created. But if I make any other type of request, for example, if I make a put request and if I click on the send button, we're receiving this message not found because in this controller, currently we are only handling a get request on this URL and a post request on this URL. We are not handling put patch or delete request. But for that also, we can create the methods and we can decorate it with appropriate routing decorator. So in this example, this get decorator and this post decorator, these are the routing decorators. And when we use these decorators on a method, it tells NestJS that for a given URL, 
when a request will be made which method should be called for that particular request if we are making a get request the method decorated with this get routing decorator will be called if we are making a post request the method decorated with this post routing decorator will be called and in the same way if we have created methods decorated with patch put and delete then those methods will be called for the respective request type okay so in this example this get and this post are the routing decorators and we use them to decorate a method which we want to call for a given type of request